so excited to see inside this next home. It literally looks like they took a property from Europe and dropped it right here in Escondido. The level of detail and thought that went into this home is really like none other. So let's go check it out. Hello. Hi, Ty. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you. This is Connie Malkowitz, luxury real estate specialist from Brush Realty. Connie, beautiful home on the outside. Tell me a little bit about the inside. Yes, it's spectacular. It's 4,531 square feet. We have five bedrooms, three and a half baths. The original builder was an aerospace engineer, and he found a building, demolished the building, and used the 100-year-old brick to build this. So that's what we're looking at here, 100-year-old yes. brick. 100-year-old brick. What a that's special what I've been told. feature to add to the property. Isn't that, I love the story. Tell me a little bit about the entryway here. Well, the entryway is spectacular. You can see the ceilings are high. And what I love about this property is the light. The natural light in every single solitary room is just gorgeous. And from every room, you see these beautiful mature trees and landscaping, which is lovely. Uh huh. So you can see that the kitchen has been completely remodeled. And it's just gorgeous. I think it suits the natural uh, uh -huh. feeling of this entire yeah. property. Look at what you see on the outside. It's just spectacular. So it's sort of a beautiful setting for that. Yeah, it's a beautiful kitchen. It has a great size. I think this is one of the biggest kitchens we've been in yet. And all state-of-the-art appliances here. And additionally, you have this magnificent area here. You can see the lighting is perfect for us today, that it's showing how beautiful it is from that gorgeous sun outside. Everywhere you look is spectacular. Come in here, let me show you the beautiful dining room. So one of the things they've done in here is they chose this beautiful Venetian glass chandelier as the center focal piece of this room. You've got storage here underneath the bench seating and you've got a very pottery barn type of storage as well that's completely open uh -huh. which kind of lends itself to the whole feeling of this whole property. But let's take a look upstairs because that is where the spectacular master bedroom is. It looks like it's right out of a magazine, wow. doesn't it? The seating area right here alone with all the windows are new and beautiful. Wait till I show you this bathroom. I'm crazed about this beautiful flooring. It's just my favorite. If you come inside, you'll see the size of the shower. Then they took the element, which I love also, and put some little bit of modern. So it's uh -huh. a little bit more eclectic with the type of sink. And of course, this tub, which comes on from the ceiling. It comes it does. Wow. It's a rain tub. Through the hallway, we have another bedroom. Now, what they've done here, which is really unique, is they've continued River Rock right into the shower. So what I have to show you downstairs is really unique. So you've got the fireplace. Again, the whimsical brick, once uh -huh. again. Large, lined here for exercise or whatever you want to use it for. And everyone needs the massage area. What is wonderful is if someone wanted to do some sort of consulting business, they have an entrance right out here onto that gorgeous deck. Let's go take a look. Come on. How big is this backyard? You know what, it's 1.21 acres. And one of the things that I wanted to show you is you still have a grassy area. Uh -huh. Some people love that if they have pets. You've still got the rolling grassy area. Yes. It's beautiful. No one will ever be building behind yeah. you, to the side of you. This is the privacy you will yeah. have. It's spectacular. So look at you've got this whole area downstairs. The deck is massive. Yes. Um, and it's also used with the, it's the Trex type decking. Uh -huh. So you don't have any wood to worry about. It will stay like this forever and it's really quite spectacular. One of the nice things about this jacuzzi as well is you're not stepping up and getting in right there, nice built it's into right the deck. It's right there, it's right there. You've also got surround sound. Who has a bridge? Right? You've got this gorgeous bridge, cuts across that creek, and on the other side we have the, a place where you can have some dinner. They've also placed these benches throughout the property, so anytime, anywhere, you can bring a book out here, just relax, and the solitude you hear now is when it's it, not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. I don't know, Ty, what else do you need? I, I'm not quite <laughs> sure. I've been trying to think of something, but the level of detail inside the property, it looks like they spent the same amount of time out here in the backyard. Now that we've seen the home, what's better than checking out the property and the surrounding community than jumping in a helicopter? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. So here we are over the home. Tell me a little bit about it, Connie. It looks like you're in the East Coast. 
one of the things people say about it, it doesn't look like they're in Escondido, it's so spectacular, and yet you're so conveniently located to everything. You're minutes from the freeway, but you can't hear it. You're right by the uh, park, you're by Orphelia Winery, you're less than seven minutes from the Wild Animal Park. And really when you're buying this property, you're buying convenience as well. No question about it. A half a mile from the house is King Carson uh -huh. Park, where you have a variety of whatever sport your children or you want to play. You can go to the beach and the mountains in the same day, uh -huh. which is beautiful yeah. because you're really not that far from Julia. The thing that everyone says about it is that it looks like a storybook home.